Here it says we should show that uh, the complement of the union of A and B is equal to the complement of A intersection, the complement of B. I'm sure that this is not the first time you're seeing this, and I'm aware that uh, you know where this is coming from. That's the Morris uh, rule in set theory. And then, of course, it has a second part, which I am going to be giving to you as an exercise so expect to do something all right so how do we go about it okay so let's prove uh permit me to start from here okay so now the first thing to show whenever you talk about equality of sets is that you must understand the requirement so you must know what is required for you to do in order to prove what you expected to prove so how do we show equality of sets okay so if i have if uh, i want to show that uh, a is equal to b so it implies that two things must happen and what are those two things one a must completely be a subset of b that means all the elements in a must be in b and number two all the elements in b must also be in a so once you are able to show that all the elements in a are in b and all the elements in b are in a you have established that the two of them are what equal um of course there's a picture to this you know like when i always I always teach my students i let them see that math is one of the disciplines that explains the attributes of god or the scriptures very well you know you will find this concept in the scripture and it's very beautiful and what's that you know in a place in scripture jesus said I and my father are one. Okay, so saying that him, Jesus, is equal to his father, who is God. Okay, and then he explained it mathematically in another portion of the scripture where he says, or where he said that I am in my father and my father is in me. So there he implies that he, Jesus, is in his father and his father is in him so satisfying the two requirements for equality so you cannot doubt that jesus is god because jesus said he is in his father and you didn't doubt that and he said his father is in he is in him okay sorry this is j and you didn't doubt that one so that means mathematically it is true that jesus is god so back to what we are doing all right so now to prove this that means one we need to show that a union b complement is a subset of a complement intersection b complement you know you can write complement this way or this way and then number two i should also show the other containment so let's take it one after the other all right so to show this what are we required to do you see how we are going step by step first you should know what to do to show the entire thing then secondly to now show the two things you needed to show you need to know also what to do so what do i do to show that a set is a subset of another it's very simple pick an arbitrary element in the set and show that it is here because what is the meaning of containment you are saying that every element here is here so now for us to prove that we just pick an arbitrary element and then show that it is contained here so let's begin that so let our x be in this guy inside a union b complement and so we want to show that this x that we have picked from this guy is actually here so if we achieve that then we have shown that it is contained there all right so now what do we do you will now try to get what you want by interpreting what you already have so we'll try to interpret this from what you are giving so what does it mean for x to be in the complement of a set so it means that that x is not in the set itself so if x is in the complement of a then it means that that x is not in a 
all right that's the only way you can be in a complement because complement of a are those elements in the universal set but not in a so this simply means that x is not in a union b all right so if x is not in a union b what does that further mean so it simply means that x is not in a and x is also not in b because if x is found in any of them then it must be in the union so for it not to be in the union it means it is neither in a nor in what in b all right so and then we'll try to now further interpret what we've got okay and to do that what are we going to have so for x not to be in a and also not to be in b it means something and what is that simply means that x is in the complement of a now one thing i want you to know which i've always said is that when it comes to construction in math especially algebraic constructions you will be looking at where you are going to construct what you want so that although you have to be mathematically correct but your eye must be on your destination so see where my destination is i want to show that x is here so I will try my best to see how I can construct this to get to that point. So see what I'm doing now. So X not in A simply means that X is in A complement. And then the same thing happens here. X is also in B complement. And whenever an element is in two sets, then it simply means that that element is in the intersection of those two sets. So I have completed the proof that X is contained in A, A complement intersection, B complement. Therefore, my A union B complement is a subset of A complement intersection B complement. So you have gotten the first part of the proof that uh, what you have here is a subset of this. So the second part of the proof is the opposite. So here now, we want to show that A complement intersection B complement is a subset of, okay, so what do you do? The same argument. You are going to pick an arbitrary element here and show that it is here. That's all. So in this case, let's pick Y. So let our Y be in A complement intersection B complement. And the beautiful thing you will notice here is that this one now is going to be a reverse argument of this one. So I will just argue this upwards and then I'm going to get the other proof. So, and what is that? So if Y is in the intersection, so Y is in A complement and Y is in B complement. Of course, that's the meaning of intersection and then that is the implication so secondly if y is in the complement it means that y is not in a and then y is not such, sorry not in b so once it's in the complement then it's not in the set themselves and if y is neither in a nor in b you see now i will progress down to this point now so if y is not in a nor in B, it simply means that Y is will not also be in their union. You see, I'm constructing it to get to where I'm going. And so if Y is not in their union, therefore it means that Y will be in the complement of their union. And you are done. So you have established that your A, you have picked an element from here. So you have established that A complement B complement is a subset of a union b complement and that is the second part of the proof therefore we have shown that our a union b or complement is equal to a complement intersection b complement as required all right so that is what we said to show you in this video all right remember i said i'm going to give you something to try on your own now that's the second part of that uh, rule which says that if i have a intersection b complement that it is equal to 
A complement union B complement. So this complement turns union to intersection. It also turns intersection to union. Show that this one is true on your own. But if you want to show me, you can check out any of my social media handles from my bios and then get across to me, whether through WhatsApp, Telegram, or Facebook. And I would always respond to whether your solution is correct or not. All right, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give a thumbs up to this video, share to your friends. We'll see you in other of our contents. Bye.